This will be a tutorial on topological sort which computes a topological ordering of a directed acyclic graph. It will include a brief overview of what the algorithm does and how it works, a pseudocode description, and a selection of images to demonstrate how it works. So quickly, a topological ordering is an ordering of the vertices of a graph such that a traversal of the graph is done in an increasing order of the vertices from lesser to greater. In other words, for every directed edge, V, A, V, B, so the directed edge is uh, represented by vertex A and vertex B, A is less than B. Um, a directed graph can only have a topological ordering if the graph is acyclic. If there is a cycle in the graph, we can't find a topological ordering. Uh, the algorithm returns either a topological ordering or a notification that the graph contains a cycle. When the algorithm terminates, any vertices which have not been assigned a topological order belong to a directed cycle. So we can pinpoint which vertices are the culprits forming this cycle. We'll use a stack to implement this algorithm. If you're not sure how a stack works, there is a video on this channel on stacks, LinkedIn array based. We'll start with the pseudocode because we'll sort of, this image, these images are a little bit more tricky to go over. We'll kind of have to follow the code closely. So you might even want to screenshot this or something as we go over the images. So a topological sort just accepts a graph G. Um, so first we're going to let S be an uh, empty stack. And for every vertex U in the graph, we're going to set in counter of U equal to the number of edges that are coming in, the in degree of u. And so if in counter equals zero, we will push um, that vertex to our stack. This is going to be a little bit confusing, like it's hard to visualize. You'll understand it in a minute when we look at the images. But just so you're prepared for the images, we'll do this quick. So i equals one. So while the stack's not empty, uh, u equals s dot pop. So we'll pop one off the stack, and we'll number u as the ith vertex v i. So remember, we're trying to number the vertices, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in an order based on uh, intrinsic properties of the vertices. There's an order to them. Uh, so we, the first one's going to be one, two, three, and that's how we're accomplishing this with this i here in this while loop. So we're incrementing. And then we say for each edge e in g dot out incident edges u, so this is the out going edges from u, w is going to be the opposite uh, vertex. The vertex opposite this vertex, u, across its outgoing edge. Um, so encounter W is going to be encounter of W minus 1. And if it's 0, we'll push that to the stack. We'll keep this while loop going. And uh, at the end of it all, if I is greater than N, then we have a good topological ordering. If not, we will uh, return that there's a directed cycle. So here is... Uh, the image description. This is where we're going to really make sense of all this. So the first thing we did was this is a little bit of an initialization here and then we'll keep running this while loop after. So we're going to start with that initialization. So we create an empty stack. This okay so consider this to be empty and this A gets added uh, in like two seconds. So we created an empty stack first. For each vertex U of G, so that's every vertex, in counter of U, 
equals the n degree of u. So green is n counter. What's the n degree of a? There's no incoming edges, so 0. C, it's 1. This is the only incoming edge. E is 3. 1, 2, 3 incoming edges. 1 and 1. You understand these are edges. This is the direction, these little arrows, into the vertices. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is say if n counter of u equals 0, so this is where, this is our start vertex. It's it has a, an encounter of zero, then we'll push it. So that's why we push A to the stack. And if you've seen our stack video or understand stacks, we push to a stack and it goes to the bottom. Uh, last in, first out. So the next thing we're going to do is initialize I to 1. And there we are. We're ready to continue uh, with the while loop. So while S is not empty, so S wasn't empty, it had A, remember that? So we pop A out of the stack, so we popped it out the top, and then we numbered A as the ith vertex. And so these, this purple numbering with a circle will be like the ith vertex. So I was 1, so we numbered A the, the first or 1th vertex. And then we increment i. Now i is 2 for the next go around. And then we said for each edge e in, in uh, the out incident edges, so look at all the outgoing edges from a, which is this edge, this edge, and this edge, going to c, d, and b. w equals uh, g dot opposite ue. So w is the vertex opposite of a through that edge. And so we're going to say the encounter of w equals the encounter of w minus 1. So it was 1, 1, and 1 for b, d, and c. But now we've subtracted 1 from each of those. So it's 0. So we subtracted 1 from here. It became 0. And uh, from here and here, and then we said if the encounter of W is zero, which they all are, push them onto the stack. So we had popped A off, it was an empty stack now, so we pushed B, then we pushed D, then we pushed C. Those are all on the stack now. And our while loop continues because the condition is while S is not empty. So while S is not empty, what do we do? We pop one off the stack. So the topmost element that we pop off was C, and we say number C as the ith vertex. So it gets the number two, and then we increment I to three. And then we say for each edge E uh, outgoing from C, that's this edge, W is the opposite vertex. And we're going to subtract 1 from the encounter of that vertex. It was 3. Now it's 2. We've subtracted 1. And we say if the encounter of this opposite vertex is 0, which it's not, push it. So it's not. We don't push it. That's the end of the while loop. And the condition is while s is not empty, well, it's still not empty. So we go to the next one. And so the next thing in our stack was D, closest to the top. So we're going to say, we're going to pop D, and we're going to label it I, and I was 3, so that's the third vertex, and then we're going to go I equals I plus 1, so now I is 4. And we say for each edge outgoing from D, subtract 1 from the encounter. Okay, so that was E, it was 2, and now it's 1. We subtracted 1 again. And if it's 0, push it. It's not 0. We can't push it to the stack. So we'll loop again um, because the stack's still not empty. So, um, yep, it's still not empty. It has B. So now we'll go, and the first thing we do is pop B out. And so now it's empty for a minute. We popped B out, right? When we pop B, it's empty. And so we'll label B to be I, and I was 4, and then we added 1 to I next, so that makes it 5. And so we're going to look to the uh, outgoing edges of B. This is the only outgoing edge. And the vertex opposite that edge 
is E. We're going to subtract 1 from the in counter of E, and now it's 0. And our thing said, if the in counter of W is 0, then push it. It is 0, finally. It wasn't before. Now it is. And so we'll push it onto the stack, and the stack's still not empty, so we loop again, and we do this one more time, and we pop it off, pop off E, call it uh, the fifth vertex, because I was 5, add 1 to I, and then for each outgoing edge doesn't have any outgoing edges we're done that and then we say if i is greater than n this is sort of the terminating is sort of the end after the while loop we're done the while loop now we're moving on if i is greater than n it is there's one two three four five vertices where n is the number of vertices i might have failed to mention that uh well i is greater than that six is greater than five so we're going to return a topological ordering which is just the numbers that we've assigned to these. One, two, three, four, five. We can return those. Now, if I had been less than five or equal to five, that would imply that there had been a cycle in the graph. But in our example, there was no cycle, as you can see, no cycle here. And so we return a topological ordering using the topological sort uh, algorithm. So the running time, we're pushing to and popping from our stack. That's accomplished in constant time. Again, watch the stack video. Every edge is visited exactly once. Likewise, vertices are traversed in linear time. Um, we're not looking at every vertex in the graph for A, and then going to C, and then looking at every vertex off that. It's not squared or anything. We're just looking at them in linear time. Sometimes we look at E from this, from this, and from this, but uh, it's still linear time. Therefore, a topological ordering can be done on a graph with N vertices and M edges in O, N plus M time. So, that's uh, a topological sort.